My name is Linda. I'm the Director of Digital Communications in a higher education institution, and I give Asana four out of five stars. Before I onboarded Asana, I looked at Basecamp. I looked at the G Suite series of applications to see if something could work there, and I looked at something called Monday. The main reason that I chose Asana is because it's, it's extremely easy to onboard, and that was really important for me because I'm dealing with constituents who have varying levels of technical expertise. I also believe that Asana has one of the most robust free options available out of all the other project management software systems available out there. It was extremely easy to onboard Asana for everybody involved. We were up and running within a few hours of my even looking into Asana and figuring out the basics, and I had folks using it and downloading the app the same day. If you're considering onboarding Asana, the number one thing you have to make sure of is that the people who will be using it are committed to using it. Because the system is great, but it's only as great as the people who are using it. So make sure that folks are on board, ready to go, ready to download the app, and ready to get started with it. I also think you want to consider whether or not you're going to need to upgrade to the paid model of Asana, just so that you understand what the financial implications are, and then you can also see how much more capability you have once you upgrade to the paid model.